So I'm going to show you real quickly how to set up that custom subdomain for IDX Broker. Uh, this is a really common thing that we have uh, people ask us about. Your hosting may be a little bit different, but this is like GoDaddy. Um, basically what you're going to do is you're going to go into the DNS um, records where the DNS zone file is. If you have a host gator, you go to edit uh, advanced DNS settings and then you add a record. But basically they're, they're the same thing. You, you hit this um, add a record. And the record type that you want is a C name. And we'll just put here, say we want to use homes. And we put it to point to subdomains.idxbroker.com. That stays the same. And we'll hit finish. If you're on HostGator or something, then you're done. Here on GoDaddy, they want to make sure that you're sure. And so you, uh, you save those changes. And then you can see right there that uh, if you look in the C names, it's homes and it has uh, subdomains, and uh, that's it. And then you let us know. We'll change the setting on the back end of uh, IDX Broker admin panel, and now all your uh, IDX links will show up something like homes.yourdomain.com.